Alright, so first things first, I will still use a primer or a setting spray just to go underneath the foundation, just so it stops my foundation from moving. Now, the setting spray I will be using is my all-time favourite one from NYX. It's a dewy finish. I've been using this for about three months now, and it has not disappointed me. So I'll keep using this until I find something better, I guess. So I just do the normal thing, spray it on my face. And let that dry. So one advice I'll give you for doing this no makeup look is the foundation you use has to be light. Do not use any heavy foundation because it will look cakey on your skin. I like to use like a water based kind of one. Um, the one I will be using today are these two from the NYX, it's from the NYX Total Control Drops. So I use these two to match my skin tone. In my last foundation routine I did, I only use this one. From then until now, my skin has gotten a bit darker, so I've mixed in this. And these ones work pretty good for when you're doing a no makeup look because the formula is like really watery, so it won't come out looking cakey. It will come out looking very, very natural. Now I will add in that I did my eyebrows as well. Um, I've did them really soft. Normally I do my eyebrows a bit darker than this, so yeah, I did a soft look eyebrow just so it's like a natural look and it's more like a day to day eyebrow look. So the product I need to do my eyebrows uh, is the Chi Chi Brown Pomade and it's in dark brown so I've been using this for like ever. I'll come in with this one here now I only do a little bit of this because like I said it's a no makeup makeup look and I like to just do one drop here on my nose and then I'll do two here then another two here and down here. I'll then come in with the dark one and I'll just put a little bit on top of that. Another one here, one in between here, here and on this. And a little dot on there. I'll then come in with my foundation brush. Now this one is a morphine one and I've been using this for a while now. And again, this brush has never disappointed me so I'll keep using that. Um, what I like to do now is just, I start on my cheeks and see how it's that colour once you've mixed it. It really matches my skin very, very good. So I'll just blend all this in. Normally when I'm doing a makeup look, I like to sharpen out my eyebrows just so I can give it that more defined look but with this one I'm not going to I'm just going to put the foundation over it to make it look more natural and then I'll come up to this now I believe this foundation works very good when you're doing this kind of look because like I said before it's like a water based kind of foundation and it's not cakey and it works very very good I'll then drag it down here so my neck and this is matching like I said in previous tutorials I do have flaws and I like to cancel them out but I do need a lot of product to cancel them out but with this look I'm only going to use um, coming with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in brown and I'm just going to go over where I've got darker spots are here up here especially where my scars are there, there, and down here. I will then come in with the same brush and just blend that all out. My ears, because I like my ears to be the same colour. I'm doing like other makeup looks, I always use a cream foundation to do the highlight and the contour but with an all day makeup look like this I do not use cream I just use the lightest little bit of powder underneath my eyes and on my nose and then I just contour lightly on my cheekbones with powder as well so I will then go back to my faithful NYX highlight and pro concealer I'll then use my Real Technique contour brush I think this is yet the real technique contour brush I'll just pick up a little bit of product on there you only want a little bit and make sure you tap off the excess because see how much came off yeah you don't want all that on your skin so I'll then pick that up on this brush 
and then just do a little bit of dab just to highlight underneath just slightly highlight underneath my eyes I then bring some down the bridge of my nose but not too much like I said before this is a natural makeup look so you don't want to pile too much on I'll just do a little bit of contour on my nose just to give it that sharper look. I will pick up this Real Technique brush and this is the Deluxe. It's actually a crease brush but I like to use this brush on my nose when I'm doing the contour. So I'll just go down very, very light on my nose, pick up more product. So I forgot to tell you which colour I used to contour, but it's the same one I've used in my previous tutorials. It's this one down here. I'm coming with my Real Technique brush. This one is the Multitask brush. And I'll pick up some of that contour colour. Make sure I take off the excess and just lightly bring some down my cheeks. Very, very lightly. Again on the other side. So with this makeup look, I will not be using any highlight on my cheekbones, but I will be using a little bit of my NYX uh, liquid eyeliner in black just to make my eyes stand out just that little bit more on top. So like I do, I just put it on top here. I'm not going to have a wing because, I mean, it's not naturally there anyway, so why should I put a wing when I'm doing a no makeup look? That just doesn't make any sense. So I'll just let it reach to about here. Like that. So I'm just going to add it in. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. That's really stuff my look up. What am I going to do? Alright, I'm just going to have to wipe it off with a makeup wipe. Now, let me talk about these makeup wipes. Alright, these makeup wipes are from, these makeup wipes are from Kmart and they're only $1.50 and it has 30 of the little makeup wipes in here. Um, my favourite is green tea. Now, a lot of people use they're really expensive makeup wipes and I've used them before and I feel like they are just the same as these. I mean, why spend $12 on a makeup wipe when you can spend $1.50 and they do the same thing. These ones work really good for me anyways. I'll show, I'll show you how these work once I wipe off this liquid eyeliner that I tried to do and it failed. Um, see how good they work? I'm just going to do one quick coat of mascara. Um, the one I use is the Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express, and this one works really good. So that's why I'm only using one coat because I don't want my eyelashes to look thick, thick, thick on a natural makeup look that I'm doing like I am right now. So one coat in the middle, one coat on the side. As you can see, it looks really chunky, but one coat on the this side. I'll also use this for my bottom eyelashes as well. Oh my god. What is wrong with me tonight? So out of all the lipsticks I've got, I've got so many, but the closest one that I can get to my lip colour is this one here. Now this one is from Savvy and it's just a normal lipstick and it is in Toffee. Um, it's just like a Brownie colour, but it's got some shimmer in it. Um, and I'll just use this, this on my lips. Then voila, this is my no makeup makeup look. Now, now the reason why I did this tutorial is because a lot of people have been asking me about how to do a day-to-day -day natural makeup look, and this is what I wear. This is the kind of makeup I use when I'm just going out for the day, and I don't want to look cakey. I just do my face like this. Um, it's really soft, as you can tell. 
Now with a no makeup makeup look, the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to just do a little bit so it looks like you're not wearing makeup. And I believe what I just did was a little bit makeup look. I look natural. I haven't overdone it and um, even with my eyebrows I haven't overdone that as well. If you want to get the no makeup makeup look, um, uh, these foundation drops are the best because like I said before, their formula is like really watery, it's not so thick and it will not make your face look cakey. Like right now I feel like I don't have that much makeup on at all because I haven't done no cream contour, I haven't done like a real harsh contour look. I've just kept it simple and um, yeah like I said before this is what I use when I'm out and when I feel like I don't want to do a really over the top makeup look I just use this look. So, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and like I say in many of my tutorials give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and hopefully I'll see all you guys in the next video. Bye!